Actually, babae ito. Nilagyan ko lang siya ng bigote para magmukha siya lalaki. No, wala yung bigote! Yeah. Bagay ba sa akin yung bigote? <laughs> a men's haircutting. First of all is, alamin nyo yung shape ng ulo ng inyong mga mahal sa buhay. Okay? Not lahat ng, ng lalaki ay rounded ang buhok. So, ito yung ginawa ko sa model ko. Yeah, sinection ko siya. And, hiniwalay ko. So, this part will be short. And I will keep the top long. My fellow stylist who's stuck at home now. I encourage you to also do the same thing para matulungan natin yung mga kliyente natin. Turuan natin sila how to cut properly. At least guide them. Okay? So, I have my clipper. First is, I'm going to remove all the sides now. I'm using a bigger guide. This is a number 6. So, what I'm doing is, I'm removing all the excess. Yung mahahaba. Pag nagki-clipper kayo, since nakaguard naman yung mga clippers nyo, huwag kayo matakot kasi... Secure na siya eh. Hindi na yan iikli. Kung ano yung number na yon yun lang yan. So, this is 6. So, 6 inches. So, yung excess lang naman may iwanan dyan. So, don't be afraid. Be careful when you buy your clippers. Make sure you buy. Invest in a good ones already. So, there. So, I'm cutting the sides. Removing all the weight. For me, this is one of the best brands. There are other brands na magaling. But me, I prefer using wall. Actually, I need to upgrade my clippers because meron na ngayon mga wireless eh. Pulin nyo yung wireless para hindi kayo nasa sa gabal tong wire. So, we're removing everything, all the long part. Don't be afraid. The right way to hold your clipper, either you hold it like this, if you're the person who's cutting your friend's hair, don't do this. Medyo mahirap tong ganun eh. Itong klaseng hawak, ginagawa lang to when you're doing yourself. So, na natanggal ko na yung mostly mahahaba. So, I'm going shorter. When you do this, just keep on, keep on coming back. This motion, para matanggal nyo. Okay, so I'm going to a shorter and uh, smaller guide. So, I'm using a number 2. Been receiving a lot of messages, kasi nga nag, parang I guess also because of our stress at home, na stress tayo because of the lockdown. Uh, marami na kaka experience sa mga hair fall. I have two good brands that I always recommend with my clients. That I tested it and I've proven it and it works. I don't really endorse the man product. Kung hindi ko alam na hindi siya nag work, kasi at the end of the day, parang mawawala din ang tiwala sa akin ng mga kliyente ko. So for me, the one that, that works well are Cirocil and Nioxin. Those two brands, uh, but you have to do it religiously. Hindi siya mag-work kung hindi mo siya susundin yung instructions at gagawin regularly. So make sure you still use a protection for your hair. Yeah, it's getting shorter and shorter na, as you can see. So I'm going behind the ears. When you're going behind the ears, the direction of clipper should be letter L. So you go on the side. Yan. Again, don't get scared because may guard ka yung ano nyo. And then going down behind the ears. So when you're going to the back, do this. Go around, letter L. Okay? See that? It's looking good. So I'm only doing up to here because maganda naman yung shape ng ulo ng mother ko. So almost done with number 2. For the bottom part, I would use a number 1. Kasi mas gusto kong mas, mas, mas dapat mas manipis sa ilalim compared sa ibabaw. When I'm doing the lower part, I'm not going all the way up here. Nandito lang ako mag-stop kung saan yung round ng buong ulo niya. So, alamin nyo yung shape kung saan rounded. Para doon kayo hihinto. Huwag yung sagadig kasi pa yan, wala na. Magkakabo lang kayo ng buho. Kawawa naman yung gilipitan nyo. So, I'm just going to the lower part. If you look at, if you see. And the side. Also, you have to remember yung motion ng kamay nyo. Palambot lang, ganun-ganun lang. 
There you go. So I finished my barbering on the side. Okay, now I'm working on the crown already. Look at this. Nice and clean. So I'm removing the clip. See that? Looking good. So I'm getting my scissors now. First, we'll work on the side. So tanggalin yung clip sa ibabaw, comb it through on one side so you can see and then remove all the excess lang. When you comb it, put the whole, full tension and then wag nyong hilahin na masyado. Kumbaga alalay lang. Just to remove the length. I'm going right above the ear. So that will be the length that I wanted. So, after working on the, the this side, I'll be working on the opposite side. Okay? It's the same thing that we're doing. We're just removing the long ones and balance it right above the ear. There you go. Now, I'm going to dry it. Kasi may mga may iwan, may mga may iwan na mahaba. So, better to cut it dry. Kasi para mas nakikita niya yung natural fall ng buhok. Kasi pag ginupit mo siya ng basa, iba yung, iba ang itsura niya pag natuyo. So may tendency hindi magpantay-pantay o sumobra ng tikle. So I always advise to do a dry cutting. No one in bigote! <laughs> Dala, dikit mo na natin. Okay, so this is how it looks like. The back. Ito ang aayusin natin para makita niyo. Kasi ayaw natin magbukang bako. First is, from the crown, you get a section, a square section, yun ang ibagayad natin. Okay? Just remove that, and then bring it down to the back, and remove. So you're softening the back. Use your first section as your guideline. Importante meron kayo sinusundan ng guide kasi pag hindi nyo ginagawa yung guide nyo, ang tendency niyan, hindi siya balance kasi iba-iba yun lang. Bring it up, remove the excess, bring it down, take it up. If you look at it, my, my fingers are straight. Hindi siya nakaganan. Even my elbow is straight. It's so important to have the right form so you can get your right angle. Kasi pag nakaganyan, iba yung Yung baksa, pag nakaganyan ka at nakadiretso. So, I'm doing the front. So, this is what it's gonna look like. So, kung ayaw nyo magkalbo, mag skinhead, kung hindi kayo ready, you can do that. Leave the crown area. Depending on the length of your hair now. So, again, just a recap of what we did. I isolated the crown area, I clipped it, I separated it, and then removed all the weights from the bottom to the roundness of the shape of the head. Dry it, and then remove all the excess length. Connect, balance it, make sure balance. Everything is even from the crown to the side. There you go. So this is how it looks like now. Oh, diba? Style pa siya. So, hope you enjoy. Um, please don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel, J Molly's Hair Project on YouTube. If you have questions, don't be shy. Sasagutin uh, natin lahat ng mga katanungan yung information that we need. Okay? Hope you enjoy. Stay tuned for the next haircut I'm doing.